right, in this video what I want to talk about is how to program an exclusive OR using two normally open push buttons. This is a really useful uh, instruction for some very specific setups um, when you need a decision to be made as long as two in, either of two push buttons are activated but not both. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to activate a green pilot light here, but this could be a solenoid, this could be a conveyor, a motor starter, it could be whatever you need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, input in here, normally open push button, which I've identified as my left green push button. Then um, next to it, I'm going to create one for the right green push button. And now you've noticed here that I've done an examine if open and an examined if closed instruction. So one of the ways to do this is to go ahead and put in a parallel branch here and you're going to create the exact opposite of your top rung. So we'll go ahead and add this. No examine if open instruction and an examine if closed. I will drag the instruction addresses straight down and now what will happen is when I hit my green push button here by itself it'll activate the green pilot light. If I activate just 13, the right green push button, logical path will come through here. But if I hit both of them, they will both shut off. Let's go ahead and download and see how this works. I'm going to activate the left push button, then the right push button, and we'll see how it operates. So as you can see, if neither of the push buttons are activated, you don't get a true statement. If both of them are activated, it's still a false statement, meaning because as it showed here, no logical continuity could come through. But if either or is activated, it will go true. This is why we refer to this as an exclusive or ladder logic circuit. All right, hope this helped. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.